Shofatim Judges 2. And an angel of Yahuwah came up from Gilgal to Boikim and said, I made you to go up out of Mitzrayim and have brought you unto the land which I swore unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. And ye shall cut no covenant with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their Elohim shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass, when the angel of Yahuwah spoke eth these words unto all the children of Yashara'el, that the people lifted up eth their voice and wept. And they called the name of that place Boikim, rather Boikim, and they sacrificed there unto Yahuwah. And when Yahusha had let eth the people go, the children of Yashara'el went every man unto his inheritance to possess eth the land. And the people served eth Yahuwah all the days of Yahusha and all the days of the elders that outlived Yahushua, rather Yahushua, who had seen eth all the great works of Yahuwah that he did for Yashara'el. And Yahusha, the son of Nun, the servant of Yahuwah, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnath, Sharech, in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gaash. And also all the generation, rather, that generation were gathered unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them, which knew not Eth Yahuwah, nor yet the works which he had done for Yashara'el. And the children of Yashara'el, Eth did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and served Eth Ba'alim. And they forsook Eth Yahuwah Elohei of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim, and followed other Elohim, of the Elohim of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked Eth Yahuwah to anger. And they forsook Eth Yahuwah, and served Baal, and Ashtaroth. And the anger of Yahuwah was hot against Yashara'el, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of Yahuwah was against them for evil, as Yahuwah had said, and as Yahuwah had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, Yahuwah raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a whoring after other Elohim, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of Yahuwah, but they did not so. And when Yahuwah raised them up judges, then Yahuwah was with the judge, and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For Yahuwah sighed because of their groanings 
by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. And it came to pass, when the judge was dead, that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers in following other Elohim to serve them and to bow down unto them. They ceased not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of Yahuwah was hot against Yashara'el, and he said, Because that this people has transgressed at my covenant, which I commanded at their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Yahusha left when he died, that through them I may prove eth Yashara'el, whether they will guard eth the way of Yahuwah to walk therein, as their fathers did guard it, or not. Therefore, Yahuwah left eth those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered he them into the hand of Yahusha.